In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some Blender Geometry node generators and procedural generators that might help you a bit with your projects. From urban city generators and terrain sculpting tools to stuff for populating your scenes with plants and veggies and creating fences, including other stuff that you will find useful. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with an interesting tool that allows you to draw terrains in real time using just curves and a few control points. Draw Terrain is of course a geometry node generator which is not similar to traditional creation methods because with this one all you have to do is adjust a couple of curves, play with a couple of sliders and you are good to go. Now after you are satisfied with your curves you should jump into the modifiers panel to get even more control over your terrain. By playing around with values like spread, top plateau, peak smooth, peak noise, and my personal favorite, chaos. And just like I mentioned earlier, all of this works perfectly in real time. And that was made possible thanks to the adaptive subdivision system that optimizes the geometry on the fly, keeping your project light, interactive, and responsive. But wait, there is more. It can also handle your materials by including a built-in shading feature, including height maps, slope, and curve influence masks to accurately texture your terrains. And one of the cool parts about this generator is that it supports multiple curve IDs, so you can layer different terrain features like valleys, mountains, and roads on the same plane, which is cool. Now, if you want to give your clothes an interesting look and shape, you can do that using Tear Painter, which is a tool for creating procedural tiers in fabric as well as for any cloth objects, and it does so by using a couple of fully procedural brush strokes. So it only takes a couple of drag and drops from the asset browser. Now, you can apply this setup to your models and start painting all sorts of tiers into your models. And of course, it comes with various presets that you can choose from like burlap for the weave effect, jeans, rugged, fluffy, and more. Now, after setting up your object with the necessary vertex groups, you can switch to weight paint mode to paint tiers directly on the fabrics model. And from what I can see, Tier Painter provides a lot of customization options like length, density, warp, and even noise and gravity, allowing you to fine-tune the appearance of the tears. Additionally, you can also control the layers of detail, such as preserved threads, fuzz, and border fuzz for that authentic and natural look. And if you like working on high poly model meshes, you can do that too using proxy transfer feature, which helps you apply these effects to high poly meshes, ensuring that your models preserve their details and complexity. And this generator even allows you to make UV adjustments and tapering threads, which is honestly amazing to have. Now, after ripping off your clothes, no pun intended, let's take a little break with the GeoFarmer Pro Asset Library. This library can be a digital farmer's dream because it offers over 250 optimized assets of plants, fruits, and vegetables, which you can directly access through the asset browser. Now, this generator comes with a couple of fun features, and one of them is the GeoFarm Draws, which is, I think, pretty self-explanatory since it allows you to simply draw a curve and populate it with your favorite GeoFarm assets. And to make these assets look interesting and visually pleasing, considering adding some motion to them by using the localized wind effect to make your assets sway in the wind. And to take it to the next level, this generator also allows you to add swarms of bees and flies, which is great for adding that little additional level of complexity to your animations. And these assets can be great for mid-range and far-range shots, because I wouldn't advise using it on super close-ups, they simply weren't made for that purpose in mind. After setting up your farmlands with GeoFarmer Pro, it is time to surround and protect them with some fences, using the Fence Geometry node generator. This tool simplifies the process of creating custom fences inside of Blender by offering you complete control over design and placement. And what makes this generator shine is its curve-based system, which allows you to draw fences along any path, making it easy to adjust to any unique contour that you have in your scene. And it comes with options to independently set custom post meshes and tops, allowing you to make different things from rustic wooden fences to modern chain link barriers. Now, since it uses geometry nodes, 
you'll be able to customize it however you would like, and you can adjust the height, width, and spacing of posts to match your needs. And for that extra level of realism, consider adding some organic imperfections by using the randomizers and scaling parameters to randomize the length, height, and width between your posts. And to add intricate designs, the setup also includes custom connectors and multiple mesh collection modes to add some unique variations between your posts. Now, it is time to take a look at Terrain Remix brushes. This tool makes complex terrain creation in Blender into a simple and intuitive process using a couple of specialized and high quality brushes. And you've got three main brushes. Peaks for creating tall mountains, slopes for smooth inclines, and valleys for carving out low areas. And the best part about this add-on is that all of this happens in real time. So you can see your terrain elements rotate and move around and even play around with their settings, like blending, shape, cutoff, canonize, and other stuff. And once you're happy with the basic shape, you can add procedural materials like snow, rocks, grass, and gravel using the drag and drop system. Also, the add-on comes with a scattering tool for vegetation and rocks. You know, letting you place assets based on altitude, erosion lines, and other nature rules. And this means your scene will look more realistic and nature-like. Now, let's talk about man-made structures like cities, for example, with this tool called City Generator. And it allows you to easily design urban cities, of course, right inside Blender. So here is how it works. You can start with a basic plane that you can quickly sketch into the city's layout using basic Blender tools like Extrude, Knife, and Loop Cuts. And each face you create turns into a potential building. Now, if you want to adjust the building's heights or add unique shapes, the settings panel got you covered, giving you control over every little detail of your city, like the height and the shape of the buildings, or the street width and road markings. The add-on also offers plenty of customization options, like randomizing building facades, adding roof assets, and creating intricate intersections. And if you want to level up your cities, you're gonna need traffic. And guess what? This add-on has built-in traffic simulation system just for that. And it allows you to animate cars driving along custom paths. You can adjust the number of cars, their speed, and even simulate traffic lights to bring your city to life. And if you're worried about performance, there is a low-poly preview mode that keeps your scene lightweight and responsive, which is great. Now, after planning out your cities with City Generator, it is time to dive into some texturing with Brush Flow Studio which is a tool that is all about making normal map painting in Blender simple and effective. With it, you get to combine the best of both worlds. You can paint fine details by hand and leverage procedural node techniques all in one place. So whether you are refining the subtle textures on a character's face or adding depth to environment assets using normal maps, this tool I think got you covered. And what I really like about this tool is that you can work directly on your 3D models or its UV maps, giving you the option to place your details exactly where you want them to be. And for those of you who like customizations, you can tweak everything, from brush radius to alphas, making sure your textures come out just like you want them to be. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these geometry node generators and procedural generators, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.